You tube. What's good, y'all? I am Rich Sosa, and today, man, the build that I am bringing y'all, as y'all can see by the looks of the title on the screen, is gonna be called the Perimeter Lockdown. But the thing about this build, we are going to be able to get contact dunks. We are going to be able to also get speed boosting out of this build. And we are also going to put on sharpshooting takeover, y'all. So before we get into this banger, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. All are welcome to join the Rich Gang family, y'all. To all the supporters, let's go ahead and get 30 likes on this banger. Be sure to share with your family and friends. And last but not least, turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload every single day. And when I go live, y'all. So, the build position, I'm getting right into it, is going to be the point guard, y'all. The pie chart that y'all want to go ahead and pick. Now, you can make this build out of many different pie charts, y'all. You don't have to pick the one that I am going to pick. But if you want the very best way to make this build... To be able to get those contact dunks, to be able to speed boost, you are not going to pick either of the bottom three pie charts, y'all. You're going to pick this one right here with about 40% of the defense and 40% of the shooting, y'all. Now, you can definitely run center with this build. It all comes down to what physical profile that you pick for this build, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get right into that. But again, we are going to be able to have Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame defense. And we're going to be able to dribble with this build. I'm telling y'all, this build is a straight demigod. Really OP. Now, when it comes to the physical profile, you can definitely pick this first one. And you're going to get close to a 99 speed and acceleration at 99. And once you hit Gym Rat. But as y'all know, I always go with the most balance possible to make all these builds very OP. And I'm going to pick the fourth one. Because look at the speed, acceleration, and vertical. They are all in the high 80s. And once we get that gym rat badge and hit 99, it's going to be so much better. But these are going to change throughout the video. So let's get right into the stats breakdown, y'all. What you want to go ahead and do here, you're going to max out your close shot. You're going to max out your driving layup as well as your driving dunk, y'all. You're going to put your standing dunk to a 28. Now, you could make this build to where you get five finishing badges. But it's not worth the extra attributes putting on. Now, when it comes to the shooting, this is where we're going to get that sharp takeover, y'all. You're going to want to max out your mid-range, your three-pointer. And we're going to put our free throw to where we get exactly 16 shooting badges. And that's going to be at 86, y'all. So we're going to have four Hall of Fame shooting badges when it comes to this build. Now, for your playmaking... If you want a speed boost, you have to max out that ball handle. You necessarily do not need to put up your pass accuracy. But to make this build that much better, we're going to put our pass accuracy to a 78 and maxing out our ball handle to get 10 playmaking badges. Now, when it comes to the defense, max out your interior defense, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, as well as your steal. Skip your block for now and then put it all on your defensive rebounds where you get 71. And we are left with nine leftover remaining attributes, y'all. You can put these towards anything you want here. You can put it towards your playmaking to get 11 playmaking badges. You can put it towards your shooting to get 17 shooting. But the thing is here, you can't put it on your finishing to get those extra badges that we want. So I really want to make this build that much better when it comes to defense. And I don't mind taking a single badge out of this build just to make it a lot much better on defense. So I'm going to put my block at a 45 and from here, let's get right into the body shape. The one I'm going to go with is always the same, y'all. We're going to go with the body shape of Burley because it makes your player just a much wider person. And again, it's going to help out a lot more on defense. When it comes to the height, we're going to go with 6'6". Six, six. Now, y'all might be wondering, how are you going to speed boost with a 72 ball handle even if you change your wingspan? I'm going to get into that. And y'all might be thinking the same thing with your driving dunk. I'm going to get into that, y'all. But with the weight, you want to go with 184 because if you go anything lower, you're going to just take a hit to your interior defense. But if you go anything higher, you're taking a hit to your speed, y'all. So 184 is the way to go. Now look right here. You can max out this wingspan if you want. If you're aiming to choose lockdown takeover. And these are the three takeovers that you're going to get. You're going to get lockdown, playmaking, and slashing. 
But if you lower it once, that is what's going to unlock the sharpshooting takeover at 86.1 for your wingspan. And let's check out the takeovers that we're going to get now, y'all. And as you can see, we are definitely having probably the most OP takeovers in all of NBA 2K21. We have that playmaking takeover which is going to allow us to speed boost especially once you hit 99 on this build getting a 75 ball handle and you're going to be running boost and you're going to have this takeover which is going to add 10 to your ball handle making it an 86 y'all you could get the contact dunks if you choose slashing but for this build i'm going to go ahead and choose sharp shooting to make it that much better on offense because the defense is crazy and as you can see we get a perimeter lockdown build that can literally do everything in this game y'all now i don't agree with the comparisons of De'Aaron fox stephen curry but this is 2k y'all know how it would be now i'm gonna get right into the bad setup but another thing to consider with this build you're gonna have over a 90 speed over a 90 acceleration as well as a 90 vertical y'all now that is really op now let's get right into the finishing badges what y'all want to go ahead and do here if you pick that slashing takeover or regardless if you didn't you're going to want to put on contact finisher, of course. And what I'm going to throw in is going to be Lob City finisher as well. And Pro Touch, just to help out this player when it comes to those stats, y'all. Again, you don't need these badges. It's all based on preference. But when it comes to the shooting, y'all, you definitely want to throw on Range Extender and Hot Zone Hunter for sure. Another one that I'm going to throw on is going to be Corner Specialist. But you necessarily don't need it. You could put on Catch and Shoot. But I just feel like Corner Specialist is the much better overall badge when it comes to those two badges the last one i'm gonna throw in is green machine if you're really consistent with greening then that's something really to consider but if not you could throw it on anywhere else and you will be good y'all as long as it's a useful badge now when it comes to the playmaking essential badges here are gonna be quick first step and that's it y'all everything else is based on preference i'm gonna go with handles for days because you're definitely gonna be able to dribble with this build especially with that playmaking takeover I'm going to choose Dimer as well to help out my teammates. And you could go one of two ways with the last badge. You could go Bailout or Unpluckable if you want to be on the safer side. And for the sakes of this video, we're going to go with Unpluckable, y'all. Now, when it comes to the defense, what y'all want to go ahead and do is throw on Clamps, of course, Intimidator, and Rim Protector as well, y'all. Now, we have two Hall of Fame badges left over. Let's say you're going to be running center with this build. I would definitely recommend putting on rebound chaser and the last one i'm going to throw on is to help out my teammates that's going to be defensive leader and that's the bad setup that we're going to go with and we're going to have a total of nine hall of fame badges when it comes to this build again the bad setup is 4 16 10 and 20 y'all a total of 50 badges for this build again if y'all watch this entire banger through i just want to say thank y'all so much for all the love and amazing support Thank y'all for this special time that we share together. But with that being said, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. All are welcome to join the Rich Gang family, y'all. To all the supporters, let's go ahead and get 30 likes on this banger. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last, but definitely not least, y'all, turn on post notifications. So you can see when I upload Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. And Sunday at 12 p.m., y'all. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.